Caught me a crappie out of this tree right here. <laughs> I get I get occupied with wanting to catch everything that swims a lot of times. That's a big crappie right there. That's a big one. My goodness. Let's get a net on him. That's a big male right there. Big male. Look here. Golly, what a slab. My goodness, what a crappie, folks. That is a man right there. Quit, quit. Bye, Ned. That's good. Okay. Fishing's been tough. I talked to three or four fishermen at the ramp and heard some others put in. There's a bunch of them put in this morning. And uh, one guy said he caught two yesterday. Another one, he said he caught three. And another one said he didn't catch nary. But there's a big black crappie right there. The reason is, is the weather. The weather's been all messed up. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, wee baby. Whoa. Ugh. They're so scattered right now. But that's a gym dandy. I tell you what, folks, when it comes to crappie fishing there's so many different kind of jigs that catch crappie i mean this crappie magnet is uh really i made the order type crappie jig and the reason is is because not only of its size i believe it's either inch and three quarter or two inches long i'm not sure and it has the type of action crappie like which is not much at all you just can't never tell when they're scattered like this and they're not wanting to commit to an area, really, these fish could be anywhere, and that's what makes it tough, and that's why it's important to cover a lot of water. Now, the proper way to rig one of these crappie magnets is bring your hook right in between those two tails, like that, right out of it. So you're gonna have to use or what I do, I, I use a hook that's long enough to get that done. It'll give those two tails, that split tail, more action. There we go. That's another good crappie right here. Come on back here. I'm just fishing really slow and crawling that jig. That's a good one. That's a female right there. Let's go ahead. Or I believe it's a female, let's see. That fish hit at the boat. Right at the boat, golly. I'm catching what I am catching is mules, folks. Look at there, what a fish. That is a big fish. Right there, girthy. Look at the fillets right there. But, Mama Sue's got a lot of fish in the, freeze, in the freezer right now. I am a slow fisherman. That fish hitting about five feet of water right here. And I'm just making parallel casts right here. This little bitty drop off. It's not much of a drop off, but it is a drop off. It falls a couple feet just out of four feet in six, just like that. There he is, black crappie. I'm getting something going right here. Getting something going right here. There we go. Good fish right there. I'll tell you what, there's, like I said, there's a lot of different baits you can use. I use Bobby Garland a whole lot because of the shape of the bait. But 
And I'm going to tell you, them crappie magnets ain't no joke. That's a female. Um, see, right in here where she's kind of, her eggs is starting to, to develop. Good fish right there. I ain't caught many, but what I've caught today, well, has been good. Ones. Let's let her go. Good fish. I need to mention to y'all what I'm fishing with. This is four pound test, Mr. Crappie Line Canyon Super Ultra Light Rod. It's a two piece rod, and I bought this rod at Dunham's. And I have two of them, I like it so good. And a Daiwa Reverus LT2500. And uh, that's about it. Of course, I got this jig tied with a loop knot. And uh, hey, it's just a great combination. This jig right here, let's look at it. It's a tough day, but now I'm going to tell you. If y'all can see the action of that, see how those two tails split apart when you put them in the water? That is deadly. Oh, I mean, I've always said it don't matter uh, about what type of jig you use, but anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches is a perfect size for crappie. But this is a good jig, real good jig. And most of these fish are ranging anywhere from two to five feet deep. I need to mention that too. I'm just steady, consistently fishing, though I'm keeping that bait wet. Just like if you was bass fishing, keeping it wet. I don't give a darn, don't care if I gotta pay 30 cent more for the backer. I ain't going up to old woman Nellie's place again and buy nothing from her. She's Audrey, she's mean, she's got hair on her lip, no mean blue eyes. You going up there if you want to, that old lady done made me mad two or three times up there. She ain't gonna get in there bit more of my money! I tell you, catching these fish today, my baits had to be, uh, it, regardless of depth of water, I've had to keep the bait about a foot off the bottom. I noticed that. After the second fish, I noticed that. There we go. What do we got? Doggone crappie. That fish hit it as aggressive more aggressive than any crappie I believe I've ever caught in my life. He hit it and come to me, folks. He hit it and come to me. Like a bass would. That's unusual right there. All right, let's flip him in. He's hooked good. Golly, what a crappie. Hey, broke my line. That's a no-no with four pound line. Don't do that, folks. We got him anyway. That was a very, very aggressive bite. My goodness, what a beautiful fish. What's the word? Immaculate. Immaculate. What a blessing to be out here today. Let's let that pretty rascal go. My goodness. Go on back there. Whoa. Oh, me, I can't help it. I just want to scream. I'm going to tell you, folks, these crappie magnets, they ain't no joke. I don't let nobody sponsor me. Won't accept it because I like to go and buy stuff like I want to. I don't want to be made to say this and that and the other. But I'm going to tell you what. These baits right here are crappie killers. With that light jig head, I'm just floating it back to me. See, I can do that with that light jig head. Right in front of that fish. It's all about feel for what you're doing and instinct. We all have a built-in instinct. And if you, hey, that is second to none. 
God gives us that. There we go. Man. Man, oh man. That fish is right by the bank, folks. That's got to be a good one. Got to be. I mean, a real good fish right here. Yeah. You doggone right. Where are you going? It ain't over yet. Golly, what a hard pulling crappie. A lot of people say, them old crappie, they don't pull hard. I'm going to tell you, you get you a limber rod and light line and a little jig, you'll find out. Them doggone things got a lot of power if you'll match a tackle to the fish. That fish right there won the battle for the hardest pulling fish I've caught today, and I've caught a bunch of them. Man, oh man. Folks, that's a darn good one right there. Now, when that fish hit, he's he's the size. I want you to look at there. What a crappie! That's the size crappie that feels like a bass when you first hook him. Uh, he's a hey. There ain't no need me talking. Y'all don't want to hear an old man just go on and on and on about a little bit of nothing but now is it not a sport second to none i'd like to have a comment about that okay Woo. there's two kinds folks there's crappy this ain't a crappy this is crappy let's let him go Get that old weed off of him. Well, folks, today, basically, the pattern was about a foot from the bottom. Now, I caught fish anywhere from probably, realistically, two foot down to five feet. So what i do to catch these crappie was to keep that bait about a foot from the bottom. That was the key. I tried a lot of different little tricks, and that was all I had to do. Just a slow, steady retrieve with this bait, and this is called the, there's 15 of these in here, and I didn't pay but a dollar and 59 cent for these right here, these crappie magnets. That's impressive, that ain't much money, them are killers. Y'all get you some. Not advertising, but look, dollar 59, can y'all see that? And the color, it's actually a monkey milk with black specks is what it is but it's called the cm show enough the show enough Woo! i want to say god bless each and every one of y'all and also a special shout out to the dude that gave me this hook remover see right on the end it's got a, a notch thank you very much i want to say god bless each and every one of y'all hey it's just that simple. Whoa. I'm talking about whoa. I'm talking about, hey, oh, the net's tore up. It's per near tore up. It's gonna have to get you another net. Whoa! And to remember, go fishing when you can, but all is good for you.